Why Socrates Hated Democracy In this video, I'm going to talk about why Socrates, one of the most influential thinkers of all time, hated democracy. Yes, you heard that right. Socrates was not a fan of the system that we often take for granted as the best form of government. In fact, he was so critical of democracy that he was put to death by a democratic vote in his own city of Athens. So, what was his problem with democracy? And what can we learn from his arguments? Let's find out. Socrates lived in the 5th and 4th centuries before the Common Era, during the Golden Age of Athenian democracy. Athens was a direct democracy, meaning that every citizen had the right to participate in the assembly and vote on laws and policies. It was also a cultural and intellectual hub, where arts, sciences, and philosophy flourished. Socrates was a prominent figure in this scene, known for his method of questioning everything and challenging conventional wisdom. He did not write anything himself, but his ideas are preserved in the dialogues of his student Plato. In one of Plato's most famous works, The Republic, Socrates engages in a conversation with several interlocutors about the nature and value of justice. Along the way, he also discusses different types of political regimes and their effects on the human soul. He argues that there are five main types of regimes, aristocracy, timocracy, oligarchy, democracy, and tyranny. Each regime corresponds to a dominant type of human character, the philosopher king, the warrior, the money lover, the lover of freedom, and the tyrant. Each regime also represents a stage in the decline of the ideal state, which is ruled by reason and virtue. Socrates places democracy as the second worst regime, just before tyranny. He compares democracy to a ship that is manned by a crew of uneducated and inexperienced sailors who have overthrown their captain. They have no idea how to navigate the sea or where to go, but they are convinced that they are equal to or better than anyone else. They indulge in their whims and desires without any regard for the common good or the long-term consequences. They are easily swayed by demagogues who appeal to their emotions and prejudices rather than their reason and knowledge. Socrates sees democracy as a dangerous and chaotic form of government that leads to moral corruption and social decay. He believes that democracy is based on a false assumption that everyone is equally qualified to rule and judge. He thinks that voting in an election is a skill that requires education and training, not a random intuition or birthright. He also thinks that democracy encourages people to value freedom over everything else, even over justice and wisdom. He warns that democracy can degenerate into tyranny when people become so addicted to freedom that they lose any sense of moderation or discipline. They then become vulnerable to a charismatic leader who promises to satisfy their desires but ends up enslaving them. Socrates does not advocate for an elitist or authoritarian alternative to democracy. He does not think that only a few should have the power to decide for everyone else. He does, however propose that only those who have cultivated their reason and virtue should be allowed to participate in politics. He envisions an ideal state where philosophers are kings and kings are philosophers. He believes that only those who have a true understanding of reality and morality can guide society toward justice and happiness. Socrates' critique of democracy may seem harsh or even offensive to us today. We may disagree with his views or question his assumptions. We may also point out that his ideal state is unrealistic or undesirable, but we should not dismiss his arguments without giving them some serious thought. Socrates challenges us to examine our own beliefs and values and to question whether we are truly living up to our democratic ideals. He invites us to reflect on what it means to be a good citizen and a good human being. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Socrates and democracy. If you did, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos on ancient philosophy and its relevance for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.